Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the LEGO DC Universe Super Heroes set 76002 Superman Metropolis Showdown. Depicting the toys from the new Man of Steel uh, movie coming out very, very soon, actually. We get ourselves what looks to be General Zod, also Superman, and some sort of car. It looks like it's hovering. I think it's just that the car has been thrown. Up at the top corner, we have some artwork of the Man of Steel Superman. Spot definitely had to get at least one Man of Steel set. To get a Man of Steel minifigure, awesome. So cool. Speaking of which... Actual size, the actual size of the Man of Steel Superman minifigure. Wow. Delicious gravy. That looks like a fantastic Superman costume. Yes, I did say delicious gravy, I know. On the back, oh, so it looks like it has a flipping action. You can flip the car over. The heat ray vision, however, is simulated. It's not part of it. Don't open it up expecting that Superman minifigure will actually emit heat vision. That would be getting your hopes up. That would be disappointment in your near future. Interested in these and other things? I would hope so. You can go to lego.com forward slash superheroes to check out more. What I am going to do is take a break. I'm going to get this opened up. going to get it put together. And when we come back, we get a better look at set 76002 Metropolis Showdown. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Of course, with set 76002 Superman's Metropolis Showdown, you get yourself actually an instruction manual. Correction, you get yourself two instruction manuals. Instruction manual 1, instruction manual 2. Make sure you go with the first one or you might do what Spot's done on several occasions with Lego. He starts going halfway through the booklet and then realizes, I don't know where I am. What am I doing? Oh, right. Looking at the wrong manual. It's a small set. I'm surprised you actually get two manuals, but do hold on to these for future reference. If you ever take these apart and you want to put these back together, manuals are key. Moving out of the way, let's have a look at the minifigures that come with this set. For starters, the one that fell we're going to actually have a look at Zod. Pretty neat looking minifigure. You can see he's got some goatee going on there. Some bottom beard going on. Kryptonian suit featuring the Zod logo. There's the back. He has some back printing. And, turn around his hair. He does also have an alternate face. Coincidentally enough, Superman, who we will look in at in a second, also features a back face, very similar also in design. I don't know, both Superman and Zod, I almost prefer the more serious look as opposed to, oh my god, I'm going to burn something down with my heat vision. Ah! No, we're not going to have that. I'm just going to turn it back around. He's got some nice slicked hair, which we've seen on occasion before. If memory serves me, I'm pretty sure the Robin... Or Bruce Wayne has used that hairstyle as well. But pretty no neat looking mini mate. Mini mate. Lego mini figure. Uh, his articulation would be the same as all other mini figures. Although his hair always is a plaguing issue. You can rotate the head left and right. Then you can put the hair back on. Arms. Rotate forward, back. You can rotate the little tiny Lego hands. And then the Lego legs move back and forth. Here you have General Zod. I suppose if I wanted to give General Zod on his own a rating, I think I'm going to give him a 6. Moving along, the other Lego minifigure that you get is Superman. Superman. They've opted to give Superman... I'm just going to move Zod out of the way. They've opted to give Superman, it seems, the Superman S curl in his hair. It doesn't seem as if Henry Cavill actually has a curl in his hair in the actual movie. After we see the movie, we'll notice that it is there, but it looks like they've just given him simply the same Superman hair as he's gotten in the past. If you wanted to, really, you don't have to, but if you wanted to, you could take Superman's hair off. Yes, he is bald. You could take Zod's hair, and you could put that on Superman. 
give him something probably a little more accurate to the movie. I think his hair is a little more, not slicked back, but... And yes, you would be correct as well, as Spot already indicated. Angry Superman on the back. Not a fan of this at all. That's way too angry. I know he's a little more aggressive in the movie than, say, your Christopher Reeve Superman. But still, serious Superman is where it's at. At least for me. And actually, I do. I think I prefer that hairstyle a little bit more. Even if it was just slightly up. I'm going to check my Lego minifigures. See if I can find some better hair for Superman. I don't really know if I like the S. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm just going through my Rolodex here. I think there was a mechanic minifigure that was part of the blind bags. Granted, I think he might have had a little more in the way of sideburns, but his hair jetted up a little bit more. I might just give it to this guy instead. Uh, Superman, I rotate his cape around. Or actually, you know what? We'll just ever so slightly turn around. You can see that there is some back printing on the minifigure as well. Articulation would be the same, and I really dig the Superman costume. Still omitting the red in the boots. I don't know why they continue to leave the colored off the boots, but still a good, solid minifigure of Superman. Superman, I'm going to give him a 7. I'm going to give Superman a 7. Moving along to the actual uh, pieces, as it were. Zod is now bald. We'll just give him Superman's hair for the time being. It doesn't really matter. We're going to move those out of the way. Looking at the actual pieces, for starters, you get yourself a car. Instantly, looking at this car, this reminded me of the car from uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. If you only had just a big smiley face on the front of it, boom, it totally would work. Or something from Dick Tracy as well. Rolls very well on the side. And I'm gotta, I gotta give props, mad props, to Lego as of late. They've really come a long way building their cars. Their cars are much sleeker, and I love that they put finished bricks finished smooth bricks on the surfaces of the vehicles on the sides as well you can see completely finished it looks like a finished vehicle it doesn't look like it just has lego bricks all over it this is really neat um, this has started for me um, i think even back from like the i think some of the earlier sets that i picked up like the two-face uh, jeep again very finished very polished off the batmobiles the same way Lego really has come leaps and bounds in the way of their uh, their vehicles, so definitely very happy with this with this car. You'll also see it's a one seater; it's not going to hold very many people, so only one. Which then brings us to this: you get yourself some sort of satellite relay station. There are a few active points on it. For starters, you can see that there's a little lever platform. We'll get into that in a second. What you may not see, if I bring the camera all the way down, you'll see actually there is there's a secondary button right here. Before we use that, you get yourself a tower, a little satellite on the side. There's not really much to be said for it. I mean, the real draw for me is the car more than this. But what you can do, once again, going back to that little lever, you press that lever down and it pops that tower off. Basically, you're just raising the, the lever up. This little, uh, almost like a seesaw, really. You're pressing it down, it's gonna knock this off. And you can pretend like this has been blown off. Maybe Zod has blown it off with his heat vision. Who knows? Finally, that then brings us to this, which I suppose, you know what, for all the showing appeal of it, let's put this tower back on. What you're going to want to do is take the vehicle, lay it down. You're going to lay it down essentially laying it on top of this seesaw contraption. When you press this button down, it flips the vehicle over. Not overly complex, but just enough that gives it that certain fun factor. I mean, it's a fairly inexpensive set. For the life of me, Spock can't remember what he picked this up for. Probably only about $15, $16. But the tower itself adds some playability. The real fun factor for me is having this car. The car, you could pretend, of course, Zod and Superman are heaving it at one another. Perhaps if they had released this set with uh, some sort of character that could have sat in the vehicle, it would have justified it a little more so, being that Superman and Zod won't likely be driving this around. But still, a really nice looking vehicle. This set, eh, it's all right but this really is where the money is. I think if you're looking for just a very basic Superman set, 
if you've decided to yourself, I want to pick up a Superman Lego set because the Man of Steel is now going to be hitting theaters in the next couple of days. I really want to pick up this set, but I really don't want to spend a lot of money on Lego. What would I recommend? Well, I would honestly get this set right here. You get, if, if you ask me, really cool minifigures, even though Spot switched the hair out, you get yourself a Man of Steel, which I'm sure every kid is going to want to get at least a Man of Steel minifigure. You can get the main villain. And then, of course, you're going to get some other things to play with. But for, for around the price point, this being one of the cheaper sets to go with, this is definitely a better set to go with if you just want the minifigures and not really a whole heck of a lot more. This set as a whole, I'm going to give this set a 7.5. Today's collectible spot, however. And, and that's why Spot should really turn off his phone when he's doing reviews. Today's collectible spot, however, we were having a look. We're looking today at the LEGO DC, DC Universe Super Heroes, the Man of Steel, set 76002, the, Met the Superman Metropolis Showdown. Certainly stick around, guys. There are more collectible spots heading your way. See you guys next time.